say. All right, I saw this on TikTok last night, and I thought this was just so dirty, man. This is the most brutal rejection I ever seen, and this count. Well, let me just watch it, and then we'll talk about it. But this guidance counselor, whoo, she should be ashamed. Okay, come on in. Hello. Hi. You fucking asshole, TikTok. I swear to God, I I okay, can't do come this. On in. Hello. I don't know why it always Hi. does this. You want to explain to Alyssa uh, what you saw or what's going on? Wait, now we missed the beginning. You stole my heart out. Hold on. <laughs> oh my god. All right, let's start over. Mother of fuck! <laughs> I don't know why it does that. <laughs> like all I'm doing is okay. using Hi. the trackpad. Hello. Hi. <laughs> I'm trying to understand why it's happening. This happens it's, to it's when you scroll up and down. When you scroll, but here, look, I am scrolling up and down. Click. Why? Why would that? I'm sorry. I think it's when you click on it and it's full okay, screen. Okay, come on in. Well, I there need a full go. screen. I'm running a show here. Hi. You want to explain to Alyssa uh, what you saw or what's going on? What I saw was you stole my heart, Allie. Shit. Would you go to the prom with me? Shit. Ooh, I don't know. It's a good thing. Yeah. Would you consider it? Would you think about it? I think about it. But yeah, if you'll think about it for him, give him a yes or a no sometime soon. Oh, shit. Okay, come on in. Bro, that was the worst. Worst. This kid is dead. He's like got to move. He's got to move. He's got to change schools. <laughs> he needs a new identity. Why he needs new parents. Why post that? Yeah, who posted that? The guidance counselor seems like she's the one that recorded it. Oh, she should lose her job. She should be banished. She should go to Guantanamo. Yeah. Straight to Guantanamo. She should, be, she should be decimated. She needs to be waterboarded. <laughs> decimated by her peers. She needs Shame. to be decimated. Yeah, exactly. Shame. Uh, Shame. Yeah, I mean, like, first of all, who would set this up thinking it's a good idea? And I actually do think she recorded it and put it online. Imagine that. I mean, was it a matter of he talked to the guidance counselor about how he was oh, for insecure sure. and she was like, I'll help. Yeah, this seems like a bad idea. Like, I don't think this was his idea. Maybe it's his mom or something. Wouldn't that be crazy? <laughs> but you'll think about it. <laughs> and she's, what, let's watch it again. Hello. Hi. You want to explain? So the premise is obviously... She got called in. She thinks she's in trouble. She doesn't know what's going on. Right. This goon walks in. She's probably never even talked to him. She probably doesn't know who he is. He just Maybe. got like that weird boy's, boy's, boy's crush on her. And she's like, what the fuck? So, Alyssa, uh, what you saw or what's going on? What I saw was you stole my heart, Allie. Damn. Uh, and then, and then she realizes I don't even know this kid. In fact, this kid's been following me home. He makes me very uncomfortable. <laughs> Would you go to the prom with me? Holy shit. And she looks at the guidance counselor too, like, why did you do this to me? And then, you know, this kid's poor face. He does this smile, but mm, I know that pain, boy. <laughs> you know that pain it's like there's nothing it's almost the most painful thing in life when you're a teenager and you get rejected like this yeah i think it's the most painful thing you'll ever experience in life <sighs> you know yeah it's it's rough what am i reading ab I don't you know. I, I i'll get to that <laughs> i'll get to that ab oh what this right here he's like i'm i'm dead my life is over his life is over. Here, let's go back because this is every this moment tells the whole story. He says, "Well, my life's over, so I'm fucking dead." Yeah. Would you <laughs> consider it? Do you think about it? But yeah, if you'll think about it for him, give him a yes or a no sometime soon. Okay, come on in. Damn, so crazy. Oh boy. Yeah. That hug at the end. Yep. <laughs> Was that the counselor's idea to hug? Wait, hang on. No. Think about it. But yeah, if you'll think about it for him, 
Give him a yes or a no. Sometimes oh, she's yeah, no, Give him a yes or no. Okay, come on in. Woo! Well, just think about it. He's got to like. Um, this is the villain story begins. This guy's got to join the army or something and ah. move to Japan or some shit. <laughs> yeah, join a join an army in a different. He needs to join the foreign legion. He needs to, he needs to like, join the space force. And get off this <laughs> yeah, planet. exactly. As far as way as possible. <laughs> Ethan, have you ever had anything happen to you like this? Like oh, rejection, rejection not to like a prom or a homecoming. Let me think here. I've been like I'm usually I I. I guess I was maybe, let me think here. I've been rejected. Yeah, I've been brutally rejected for sure. Yeah. In high school, not that much. I think I was, I was lucky in high school to date the girls that I liked. But in college, I took some shots for sure. I liked, I liked being bold. You know, I like these bold moves where like, there's a girl in the, where at the food hall that I always see that I thought was like cute and interesting looking. And I would just like work up the courage and I was like, I'm going to be that guy. Right. So I go, I just go and sit with her one day. I says, hi, I'm Ethan. I think you're beautiful and I'd like to get to know you. And I did that one time, this girl, I thought like, I thought for sure there was a uh, chemistry. I felt like this, like this is going to work. Mm -hmm. And she says, she just like, oh, hi, thanks. I have a boyfriend. And then it just, the sale was out uh, and I, I just, I was like, okay. And I just bailed. <laughs> All right, see. It's, it's awful. Thing. That was painful. Just because, like, you realize, all right, the way I just fled with my tail between my legs was just, like, so... Uh... I don't know. that. I mean, I'm sure that felt bad. Uh, yeah, it I don't, felt bad. But, but you know. That, that, I mean... That, that, in the grand scheme of things, that's not too bad of a rejection, I would say. Let me think if there's been a worse rejection than that. I have, I have one if I can, can share. Um, oh, you know we want to hear it. So uh, 11th grade, I uh, asked a girl to, it was prom, and it was in our school's courtyard, and I played on the guitar, Baby, I Love Your Way by Peter Frampton. <laughs> oh. So that was, it was boldy. It was ballsy. Oh. Ooh, baby, I love wow. your way. I was little fucking Romeo, you know, and had a whole thing of roses. And, <laughs> you know, the, the girl and I, I thought we were friends, you know, I didn't. You know, I thought, hey, you know, will you, will you go with me to this dance? And she said no, publicly, and it fucking stung. Well, hold on. What do you mean publicly? Like, where did this happen? In our courtyard, and people. Were well, it sounds like he made a you made a whole scene. Okay, wait. Let let, let me break this down. <laughs> You're in the courtyard and high school. Yes. A public setting. Yeah. See, that's that's. You're asking for it, bro. Yeah. That's like the dude who proposes at, during halftime at Staples Center. That's that's a little much, but I... Uh, the Crypto.com Center, actually. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> forgive me. I, I just said, fuck it. I wanted to go big and, you so know... So tell me... Okay, okay. So this is interesting to me. Yeah. So you, you have a, an electric guitar or a... Oh, it was acoustic. Oh, so you've got acoustic guitar yeah. and then you have flowers. Tell me about the whole setup. Yeah, I, I had just basically got down on a knee... Tell me about everything, though. Tell me about what's there. So I see her. When you got down on your knee to ask I, for the And I'm like, hey, can I share something with you? No, hold on, hold on, hold on. You're getting ahead. You're getting ahead. <laughs> Tell me about the setup. You said you had flowers and stuff. It paint, was just a bouquet of paint flowers. Paint the scene for me. Okay, we're in the courtyard. Courtyard. It was kind of an overcast day. It was during lunch. How many people are around you? Shit. <sighs> 200? Hundreds, yeah. 200 people? And, are, and like, how big is the courtyard? People are close by, right? They're not like... Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. So oh, everybody's yeah. kind of watching what's happening. Oh, yeah. And um. Okay, so you have a guitar and a bouquet with you? Yes. And what kind of flowers did you get? There were roses. Red roses? Yeah, there were roses. Okay, and then so how did you beckon her to come to the courtyard? She was walking towards me, and I'm like, to my friend, Wes, I'm like, all right, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. And I'm like, hey so-and-so can i talk to you and did you have were empty-handed when you said that no i had the guitar in my hand you had the guitar and flowers in your hand yes and you said can i talk to you can i talk to you and then i proceed to get down on one knee and start strumming the tune okay so it wasn't you didn't pull her to the center of the courtyard you just happened to intercept her there correct okay and then so you got down on one knee you start playing "Ooh, baby i love your way when did you give her the flowers uh after the song and when i said hey will you go to the dance with me okay and uh so how did she react 
Straight up, uh, no. I'm going with someone else. Damn, let's go. That's <laughs> fucking brutal. Yeah, it was fucked up. And then what happened after that? Did she walk away? Did you? <laughs> she walked away. Everyone laughed at me. It was fucking horrible. Oh, shit. Except for my friend who's like consoled me. It made me cry, to be honest. <laughs> when, when did you cry? There or later? I walked away and started tearing up. How, that sounds dramatic. How tearing. much of the song did you play? I was going to ask the same just, question because I just looked it up. It is a five and a half minute long song. Did I How played, many verses did I, you get through? I played a verse and doubled the chorus and that was it. So like there's a couple <laughs> minutes of good playing there. Yeah. And do you, rem- do you recall the look on her face as you played? It was just kind of like, what the fuck is going on? Were you now? worried as you were playing the song, like, this is not going well? It's not going Oh, well. for sure. You, yeah. can, you can get a vibe. But you, you were committed. You were going to keep playing. Yeah. Fuck it. I, I, it was ballsy, and I looked back on it and was like, oh, my God, that was so embarrassing. But, I mean, I think it took balls for a kid junior in high school to do some shit like that. Now, let me, let me ask you. Is this, like, a popular girl that all the guys wanted? Mm, not really. Okay. That would have made it more cringe. Yeah. Not really. I thought we were friends. We would talk, and you know, I thought there might have been something there, but fuck, fuck no, dude. Cam's asking, was it Kylie Jenner? No. Yeah, not. I know. I had that same thought. <laughs> it was not Kylie Jenner. Kylie. Well, you know what, Zach? That's a sweet thing. You took a shot. You put yourself out there, and God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. It sounds brutal, though. Oh, it was horrible. Or, did people goof on you uh, at all for it afterwards? Uh, there was like maybe a week or two of like just like <laughs> laughing and like <laughs> you got rejected. Yeah, I'm well, fuckers like, are too. They're too cowards to even take a shot, bitch. Right. I'm like, who are you going with? I'm like, I'm not going with anyone. But who are you going with? Exactly. You got balls. Kid. Did you end up getting another date? Did you go? Junior year, no. Stayed. Uh, stayed home that year. Well, I bet that girl regrets it now. So yeah. Now that you're the world famous Zach the Sound Lad. True. The Mayo King. <sighs> Wearing this bitch and Teddy Fresh jacket. Absolutely. That's a great story. Thank you. How long did you cry for? Like a good long cry or like a small, <laughs> just a few tears? It was like an embarrassing probably five minute of like, what the oh, fuck did damn. I just do? But my friend consoled me and he's like, bro, you gave it your all. What a good guy. That's a good friend. Yeah, he's still my best friend. So okay. shout out. Right what a guy. Yeah. You want to say his name so yes. we can shout him out? Wes, I love you. If you're watching this. Nice guy, Wes. You're a good dude. Wes is the man. It's rare for friends to be that uh, empathetic, I think, at that age, especially men. Yeah. What are we going to do without him? What are we going to do without no. empathetic men? <laughs> God. Have you ever no. seen his cock, Zach? Do you know how long it is? Actually, yeah, I have seen his cock. Somehow I knew you were going to say that. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 just I, knew that. I didn't want to hear the answer to that. Actually, I mean, you're drunk and you go piss in a bathroom. I mean, we've pissed in some horrible places, but... <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. Just throw that out there. <laughs> okay. Do you want me to continue my line of questioning down this? <laughs> no. If you if Please you don't. Want, Anyone else got rejection stories since we're on the topic? Mine, well, this sort of reminded me of a story I had. I asked this, it's a little bit different, but I asked this girl to a dance in middle school. And uh, she said yes. And then we went to the dance and I was too shy to talk to her the whole fucking time. Yeah. That was a fucking nightmare. Yeah. Actually, I had a, I did have, in middle school, I, don't, I didn't even like write that off because it's so cringe. But I had the same thing. There was a girl I liked. And then we were like, oh, we both like each other. And then we would like, it was, I would go to her at lunch, not say anything and hold her hand. We didn't talk. (laughs) And then one of my friends would be there and I would talk to him and she would talk to her friend and we would just hold hands and then leave without talking to each other. That is, I'm sorry, go ahead, Dan. Well, that just kind of reminded me, I, I dated a girl, dated a girl in middle school in sort of a similar situation. Our thing though was that we like barely ever talked at school, but um, would uh, pretty much exclusively our relationship existed on AOL Instant Messenger. Oh yeah, we would talk a ton on there. But then at school, it's not like we like avoided each other or anything. But like, it was like just super awkward. And like you were just describing, like at lunchtime, <laughs> she would just be talking to her friends, and I would just be talking to my friends, and like didn't really interact at all this isn't like seventh grade or something so you, know. you are guys are unlocking memories same shit with me dude am mm-hmm. aol yeah messenger. aim aim for AIM, sure we never sure talked down. me and this one girl i was dating we never talked we would we didn't i didn't know how to kiss for whatever reason she made out with me because she made out before i guess but 
we would only go to the movies, make out. That was it. Mm-hmm. Never talked, nothing. It's so fucking weird to think back. Of, yeah. Uh, like a year. Actually, that's right. The The first girl I ever kissed uh, was a similar thing. That, that was pretty much the extent of our relationship was going behind the classroom after school and making out for like 10 minutes and then just being like, all right, bye. It's <laughs> so weird. Those, those relationships are so weird. Yep. Uh, Olivia, you rejected someone from prom. That's pretty epic. I did. Also, hi. I'm, oh, yeah, we should probably explain what's going on. <laughs> She's in quarantine. I'm, I have a little bit of a cold. So far, I've tested negative twice, and I'm going to keep testing. We'll How are you feeling? That. I feel fine. I just have like obvious physical symptoms of a cold. Okay, she stuffed it. Yeah, I mean, I mean, it happens. You know, it's uh, COVID's not the only illness out there. Olivia, yeah. Olivia, Olivia. I've been we, listening to Olivia the entire time. Wow, Donald is tuned in, eh? Whoa, he's been listening to you the entire time. Wait, can I ask you? Are those Teddy Fresh necklace? Yeah, I asked Lena oh, if they're yeah. red necklaces because I love them. That looks great. Looks Thank good. You. All right, let's hear how, what it's like to be on the other side of the equation, right. not getting rejected. Okay. So it was like a week before prom, and there was someone who was planning on asking me, and they had set it up with my friends. And so I knew that that was happening, and that was my plan for prom. But then one day during lunch, before he had prom posed to me, I went and I sat down with this kid who – it's like kind of weird and he didn't have a lot of friends and we just had a very normal conversation, but I could tell that he was like getting ready and like working him himself up to something. And I think he had decided at lunch that he was going to ask me and he was like, so Olivia, like, will you go to prom with me? And I, I felt so badly. Obviously if I didn't have plans, I would have just said, yes, I don't really care, but I, I didn't know him really at all. But I had this set plan. So it sounded, I think he thought that it sounded like I was lying. And that made me so, well, he did. So I said, no, I'm so sorry. Like my friends have this plan set up already. And then I wasn't promposed to that day. And that night the boy sent me a bunch of like angry text messages. Oh and shit. You got red pills. You black pilled a guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See that 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 yeah. I never took it that far. You just deal with it. I mean, blaming the girl some black pill shit. That's he's too what? young to be black pilled. It wasn't like you suck. You're a bitch. It was more like, hi. I have a question. Why would you? Why wouldn't you just say no if you didn't want to go with me? And I was like, no. I promise. Like I have something lined up, but I really, it it, it was not that. And he just he. <laughs> That's the it problem, was, you know. Yeah. The problem with these guys is that, like I predicted in the in the print, the guidance counselor's office, he doesn't know that girl. Yeah. He's probably never talked to her. Yeah, I empathize so much with her in that video. I think. <laughs> so how does it feel to be? It does it, it's got to feel good at least to be like desirable and to say it no. Feels- horrible. Oh come on! It feels it amazing. It feels horrible. I mean, there's a part of you that's like. Hey, look yes, <laughs> but but that happens way later, right? That's when you're telling your friends about it, and your the emotions are less crazy because mm-hmm. you just feel horrible. Where would we be without men? <laughs> oh, They're God. doing impossible things. They're asking girls to go to the prom. <laughs> Women are being propped up All by right. men. Anybody else got a story? Because we're way over for break. We got to go to break. Two. Welcome back. Um, Ian, you had a, sh- you had a story I think you should share. It's a pretty good one. Regarding the rejection yes. or rejecting. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I had one that was, uh, rejecting someone, which was out of character because I was a total fucking doofus. Heartbreaker, dude. Not, not quite. <clears throat> no, 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 no. Somebody loved your ass more than I can say for myself. <laughs> I was in middle school and this girl, she was very sweet and nice, but it just, that wasn't there, the the thing. But she didn't ask me out. She uh, asked her mom to call my mom without talking to me. Oof. And then um, I came home from school one day and my mom was like, we're going 
to go to the movies with this girl and her mom um, tomorrow, and you are going. Uh, what was your initial go see thought? Aragon. What was your, what was your thought when <laughs> Aragon. You, were you like okay cool movies or were, were you like what's why are we meeting them? I was not happy. You um, knew? Did you know? Well, when she told me, yeah, I mean, I I didn't anticipate it happening like that. But I was like, and she's like, we we gotta go. You're be don't be mean, don't be mean. Oof, mom. Yeah, <clears throat> she's she's sweet. My mom's very sweet, and she didn't want to hurt any feelings. And so we went, and I was like anxious the whole time because it was just like two moms hovering on either side, and we were just sitting there. Jeez. So you guys sat next to each other with the moms on both. That's awesome. Yes. That's epic. <laughs> and then the movie was awful too, so I didn't even get that. Which movie was it? Aragon. Aragorn? He had his own movie? Yeah. No, no, no. Not Aragorn. Oh, Aragorn. Who's Aragorn? <laughs> it was like a, it's like about dragons or something, yeah, it's right? Like it's a like a dragon like, fantasy movie. It seems like they totally ripped off Aragorn. Aragorn. Now I'm confused whose name's whose. It's, it's Aragorn with an E. E R A G O N. Why did they, they, they shouldn't have picked that name for that character? Well, talk to Christopher Poloni, that's the writer. That's bullshit. Especially if it's a movie about dragon and fantasy. I mean, that's such a Lord of the Rings rip. How dare you? <sighs> yeah. Movie was was rough, and then after we, they were like, "Let's go to the arcade." It was That's an arcade fun. next door. Love that. And I wanted to go home so bad, and we went to the arcade, and I immediately bolted and I hid in one of those like Jurassic Park arcade machine. You know, with the you close the curtains oh, and you go shit. sit inside. You went in solo. I went and hid in one. Oh yeah. To wait it out. That's good. <laughs> and. She, after about 20 minutes, I sat in there killing time. It was a big arcade. It was really big. She found me and she got in the machine. Nice. And I bolted out the other curtain. Oh, no. Oh, that's very awkward. No social skills. Oh, Ian. You I didn't was very clap young. those cheeks? What? You didn't clap those cheeks? Was I like was 12, in 12, grade. bro. What oh. the fuck? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Just gonna leave the camera on you for a little bit there. Just sit in that. Bask in that. Bask in what you just. Said. I stand by what I said. <laughs> Even after finding out there are twelve, <laughs> you can still take it back. Just sit. It's not too late. Sit it's there. not too late to take it back. Okay. But uh, yeah. Delete me from this conversation. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, very awkward. I felt really bad when I thought about it. You know, not at the time because I was a dumb little kid, but. Now I'm like, that was so fucking rude. Well, you know, we're not good at processing emotions at that age. And looking back, this has unlocked a lot of memories for me. When I would go on dates with girls, even in high school, I, w I was just, I was so fucking nervous and anxious. It was just like crippling. It was just so serious, you know. It's, it's, I wonder, I've been married for so long now. You know, I'll never date again, but like, I wonder if I were to date at this age, if I would still be so fucking anxious and worried all the time, if it's any better. Or if, now that you're more mature. Probably. You know, mm, yeah, probably not. It's but so, the, uh, the Rolls Royce might help. Yeah. Um, <laughs> the Rolls Royce? You think <laughs> yeah. that'd do? You'd... This time when, uh, well, when Sam's mom called my mom, it went way better this time. Right. I yeah. didn't leave the arcade machine. That's sweet. You guys did the Jurassic Park together? Yeah. That's nice. It's awesome. What a what a heartwarming. Uh, <laughs> I love that. Well, that explains the jungle room. <laughs> All came full circle. <laughs> That's interesting. It's fun to go down these 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 uh, memories. It's just unlocking so many old emotions, man. I apologize for saying if you <laughs> clap those cheeks. You Way took it back. Late. Okay, Way no, too okay. late. You, you said I stand by what I said. Just I didn't. I didn't. <laughs> He took it back. Let's not hold it against him. He took it back. He came around. I take it back. Yeah, he took it back.